All right, everyone. Another update on Seaman here. I got a feeling something interesting is going to happen this time. So let's see how he's doing. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains one, hardfish. He is suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the... Hmm. Okay, let's give him some food and warm the temperature up. I wish I could do that here. Yay! Yes, and now there's only one sea man. Oh, goody. More natural selection. Wow, that was cold. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sure he's hungry now. Yeah, there's still... Yeah, there's some... There's an egg here. There's two eggs. Oh! I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, he's right there in my face. Okay, let's grab you. Oh, oh good. Food. Let's watch him eat. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. No more room. Alrighty. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello? Wow. This is awfully late for you, isn't it? I usually do check him earlier in the day. Okay. So, let's focus on this big rock here. I always tickle C-Man first. You see now he's smiling. A smiling seaman is a happy seaman. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yes. Hello? No. Come on in. The water's fine. Try again to move this rock. Okay, let's try this again, Here we shall go. we? Here's my next question. If a man yells for seven days straight and his pitch raises an octave every three hours, what does he have at the end of the week? Sore throat? Correct. Very good. All right, I'll help you with the rock then. See? I know his riddles. Too good.
just a little bit more. And now look what we have. We have an entire different look. We have an entire different environment. So now we have dry land and a pond. Isn't that awesome? And now it has to be more humid. Whoa. Now it has to be hotter in the tank. More humid. Hello? What? <laughs> Let's see if we'll talk first. See if we see if we'll say anything interesting. Hello? Hi, Fuzzy. Hi. So, this World Wide Web, what do you use it for? I'm just gonna say games. You use it for fun and games? Yes. Well, that's all well and good, but I guess you didn't hear about the information part of the information superhighway. Well, there is plenty of information, too. Isn't that right, C-Man? Yeah, well, he knows. He's talking to me. <laughs> what? What? Look at that happy face. <laughs> Let's see, talk some more. Well, you know, I try. Do you ever use email? Yes. So you email people? Yes. Do you prefer to keep in touch with people through email or the telephone? Huh. Well, that's rough, but email is easier. Email. Yes, I know what you mean. Those emoticons just can't be expressed with words. Smiley. <laughs> More seaman wisdom for you. <laughs> yes. Now, here's something that you might be interested in as an internet user. Do you think the internet should be censored? Well, yes. You think the internet should be censored, hmm? Yes. You use the internet for fun, but you want it censored? Well, then I hope your idea of fun is G-rated and involves a lot of cookie recipes and home remodeling tips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, everything in moderation, you know. Everything should be age appropriate. That's my opinion. Well, that's about all the time I have uh, for our time hangout with Seaman here. So, this is our Seaman. He's doing very well. So, as always, I'll check up on him later. See you later.